Welcome back to the Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. Pete Bursich here, breaking down film on all of the Minnesota Vikings 2020 draft selections. Now this next guy, our third pick in the fourth round, 132nd overall, is linebacker out of Oregon, Troy Dye. Now Troy Dye at 6'3", 231 pounds, was the leading tackler for Oregon four seasons in a row. Ended his career with 44 tackles for loss, 13 sacks. So how does a guy with these kinds of numbers make it to the fourth round? Well, unfortunately, Dye did not go to the combine. He suffered from a meniscus tear in his knee and also played the entire season with a cast on his wrist. So there's a lot of upside here. We'll take a look at this film and we'll see what we like about Troy Dye. One of the things I like most about Troy Dye is he's very, very instinctive. He's very, very good at reading guards, feeling the plays, and then keeping his shoulders square at the point of attack and then making big plays. In the first play that you see in the Rose Bowl, watches the guard, he sees the guard pull, and as soon as he sees that guard pull, he comes over the top all the way, sifts through, fights off the guard and the tackle, and then is able to make the play. But not only does he make the tackle, but he strips that ball. And then look at that excitement after the play. That's the kind of player that you want out there on special teams, out there on your defense. Another example of Die and his ability to read and diagnose. The trick play, a quick toss to the outside. He keeps his shoulders square, lets everything happen in front of him. And then once he sees what's going on, makes the decision, goes, and one of his 44 tackles for losses right there. Another arrow in Dye's quiver has to be his ability to blitz. Now, he's he's not a powerful blitzer. He's not going to be running people over like Anthony Barr, but he's all very, very quick and very instinct, instinctive. On this play, he's just playing off the penetration of the tackle in front of him. He sees the guard is overset on the outside, comes back in, fights off the center, keeps going, boom, makes the play, throws the quarterback to the ground. We always love that out of our linebackers. He's very, very instinctual, gets north and south, and stays after it. Now here's one of my favorites, the old trick play, the old Statue of Liberty. But if you watch him die, he reads, sees what's going on, sees that guard pull, comes back on the outside, that ball is on the ground, and he picks that thing up and takes it the other way. Now granted, he's only being chased down by a lineman, but you can almost time him on that 40 yard. Almost had to watch that kind of film. But you need to judge his speed, and what we can see, his speed and quickness on tape is outstanding. Here's another example of Dye and what he can do blitzing. Here, the three technique, the defensive line in front of him is going to slant down into that A-gap. The guard will eventually come off and pick him up, and Dye never gives up. He just, keeps, he just keeps on going. He knows he can't push that guard all the way back into the pocket. But he stays on the edge. And this is something we've seen on the defensive lineman we've chosen too. Keeps those pads low, gets around the edge, and then has enough burst to chase down that quarterback from behind. So not like a powerful pass rusher, again, but very, very quick and very, very instinctive. Again, another example of Dye's ability to stay square to the line of scrimmage and read what's going on in front of him. He sees that Stanford's checked and they're going to run this power play or counter play back to his side. So as soon as he sees that guard pulling his way, he gets north and south. The defensive end is cutting underneath that pulling guard. Now the penetration picks off the fullback, and he's able to not just turn the play back inside, but come across the face of that fullback and come in and make the play, keeping those legs running and pushing that running back backwards. So Dye has a host of physical abilities. Yeah, he suffered with a knee injury, had a wrist injury. Very athletic linebacker. Really was hurt by the fact that he did not participate in the combine due to injury. But you watch him on film. He has the instincts. I think he has the quickness. He definitely has the speed. He's going to have to put on a little more weight, maybe get a little bit stronger for that running game in the NFL level. But I think he's going to be a producer on special teams early. And you'll see more and more of him on the field as the seasons go on. 